Good morning, everybody. Today is November 9th, Monday. Let's go see what's going on behind us. Yes, we still got lots of work left. Hey, and Center Island's got a lot of work going on. Putting this fancy little whiteboard in here for aesthetics. And they're gonna run a light underneath it. See the wires poking out right there. And we have our cabinets starting to get put back together. They've roughed them out. And now it's time to fill everything and clean everything up. Beautification. I'm actually ready for this area to be done so we can get the kitties in here. We ended up being a little busy yesterday besides moving all of our boxes and our furniture over here. I put in surround sound brackets that I bought off of Amazon and we mounted a TV. That takes the most of going through that stone. I ate a few diamond blades up going through that stone. It's sort of very tough to get through. Once you're through it's easy. But getting through the stone it takes a while. And of course our crazy mess going on. Found a little spot and just uh, sort of dumped our boxes here. This is what's left of what we don't know what to do with. <laughs> you could say. So we have no glue for the machine so they're doing it a little bit different. So he is putting the strips on right now with the other glue in the Cobra bottle. And we got some uh, mortar mix going on. Our cement mix he is doing up this wall which is quite interesting. At some point here in the real near future this will probably be cemented in this whole entire area. So. I guess he's uh, holding it up to fix the tiles, hold the edge so they won't snap off. We're going to have a walkway all the way down to the end, to the dirty kitchen underneath the eaves. Got the electrician doing his magical work out here. I guess they're going to run the welder out here. Just don't touch the wires. Those are live. Hot, hot wires. Wow. Good afternoon, everybody. Well. Here's the outcome of everything around our center island. And they're getting the doors on, everything. They did the little edging stripping. He just has to go back and sand a little bit. And we got a little surprise day once again. Electrical. I'll show you. Alright, and we got a hole in our ceiling. They're just cutting it. Actually, they're trying to get it out. But it's break time right now. And yes. We have a little bit of electrical issue right now, so we're getting another manhole for the ceiling now. <laughs> and here are the stairs. So they got them all covered up, and now they're going back through. And he is touching up. You see all the the overspray. He's going back. Uh, they hadn't done anything really they just put skim coat on it and did a little this a little that on it but we got other nice stuff this is the reason why we are cutting the ceiling up we have a couple lines that are uh, that don't work and uh, they're not connected to anything it's supposed to go to a switch but it's not there's I, I couldn't tell you what happened when they first uh, put in the electrical but uh, it's being fixed now Man, our kitchen really is gorgeous. I self-posted on Facebook a picture of it, and it is really nice. It's uh, very modern. There's a lot of modernness to this. Once it gets done, and when it gets all un unveiled, it compares to any good old-fashioned modern house, the way it's going to be set up. And yeah, the microwave doesn't go there. It goes in the island. It has a built-in spot for everything has a little place in the kitchen like i mean we have a massive amount of spice racks we have a spot for my baking all my baking uh, pans and stuff we got a nice little cubby hole for that and a little bit of everything yes and we have more blinds i did a bunch of blinds today because earlier none of these worked and now they work they weren't connected up. Actually, all of our plugins in this room did not work. But 
another blind there. I mean, and yes, if you guys notice, I'll go back over here. That blind is off to the side. And not much we can do is the way with the TV, the entertainment area was built. It's just like our bedroom. Our bedroom has a little bit of problem, but it has actually more of a problem because the blinds that we bought before the entertainment area was built. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a lot going on in our bedroom right now. Our master is getting finally the last safety bar in the house is being put in. So we got our mirrors put in. We also got, that's actually going on right now, a bracket for our bar for our clothes hangers because it's really long and it was really flimsy so requested something else done and both of them got done they're reinforced and they are good he put a it was pulling out so they put a, a little spacer there and now it works really good yes and we have some glass going in in our shower area it doesn't go all the way up they don't have this piece right here they don't have our door for our shower i don't know if it's made if it didn't make it on the truck all right guys what to do about this what's the best way to deal with easy quick for this pipe it is absolutely annoying when it's filling our tank up it's uh, filling our water tank up it just bangs and bangs and bangs. Nothing is mounted. It comes straight out of the house and then all the way up to the top, the water tank, and it isn't held together other than the line is uh, it's just loose there. So it's bouncing up and down and going crazy. And we have another shower enclosure right here. There's one more shower piece downstairs. Maybe it's for the one downstairs that isn't completed yet. We're getting sealant done on our sliding doors. Everybody's actually right here watching. <laughs> it's break time right now. So our glass stuff is going so we don't get leaks. Well, maybe. We have some other spots that are open still. All right, our stairs are getting primered now. Did a nice job of taping up the stairs. These are looking really nice too. The little cat area, all the little cubby holes. Ah, everybody, look at that. The microwave's in its home. We gotta play with it and make sure it works. And it even has power. Look, there is power. There is a light on. Yes, looking good. And we got Christian working over here. Besides being a contractor, he's uh, cleaning up our wells and he's just, just doing the first part, he said. Uh, and they gotta get a standing pad next. To make it make the wells look really pretty. Wow, uh, we got overtime. It is past five o'clock and then it's busy here. This guy's trying to get our uh, master done. Our last set of big doors. The concrete broke, so now they had to go all the way in and uh, welded everything in. So we have two spots like that. And we have more overtime. Christian is working. We came up here to check out to see what house is grinding going. He's got a collection of grinding pads that he's doing. A buffing pad, sanding pad. Good morning, everybody. It is November 10th, Tuesday. And right here, you're seeing the center island. That's what's left that needs to be done. And we're almost done. Everybody's busy. You get a little bit of rain right now. A little on and off. Now let's go look around. And we got Ferrari over here killing things. Been banging out all the little putting little the skim coat and hiding all the nails fixing it all up and look at the stairs so this is coat number two on the stairs you can't even tell the brown is there anymore and I think there's one more coat 
to go on here and it will be done. And we got install of our little vent. Showers getting together. We're almost done. I think we have electrical everywhere in here, finally. And another thing, we got a door on our bathroom. Finally, we got a door. They're getting a doorknob on there because that's like the community toilet for everybody, even them. And we got Icel in here undoing all of her boxes. Soon I will get mine. This is sort of a mess. We're trying to unload into the closets. We got too much stuff. And we have the guys. They got this hung and welded. And we had some work done. I know Christians did yesterday. All nice and pretty. And now showed them how to do it. And they're going to do it. All the different uh, grinding. Right now. These are about to be installed, so I'm going to have to move my uh, wonderful mess that we got going on over here. We're going through the boxes, so we're finding things that don't belong with our clothes, so we're setting it off to the side. I got stuff, so, and uh, he's going to mount our table. So they're floating, but they're mounted in the little wall. And their cabinet, or nightstands are going in oh i see something all right our uh, nightstands are going in He's putting with dowels in like this one this one's already in and ready can't wait to use it tonight and we got a new person today a special person just to come in to do it hey we have city of lipa here to test we are uh, getting our water tested from the filter system, so if I can drink it, we're going to test before, before it goes into the house and then afterwards. This is our faucet coming off the main. This is actually the only faucet that we have that's straight without being filtered. We did it a little easy way so we didn't have to run extra piping back around the house. Alright, so he is cleaning the faucet. No uh, little residues or nothing before he pulls the sample. Let's it run a little bit and... Wow, just that little tiny bit. And that's it. Just a little, little bit of sample. Oh, wow. What's that you're putting in that? I put a DPD to get a uh, percentage of chlorine ah, from water. Oh, the chlorine. Chlorine. Interesting. Because if water is no chlorine, right. bacteria will grow. Yeah, yeah. Pass in the faucet. No bacteria is getting through our filter system, though. <laughs> Pass. That passes, huh? All right. So here it is. That is it. So you don't test for the bacteria afterwards? It's just at the in the front from the city's line. So we get our results. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. So we get the results November 20th. So I cannot wait. He said there should be no bacteria. Uh, just talking. But we pulled it right after the filter system, which is right there. We're, we only have to go a few feet for the line. All right, and right there, Carlo is measuring out our little sink spot. It's gonna be a tiny sink and it's gonna be a tiny little area, but it will work and get everything done. And this bathroom is coming together really nice. For a small little thing that it is, it has a lot going on in it. We've got our shower, our toilet, we're gonna have our faucet, the sink, a little setup. We have a window, we have a fan, I mean you can't get much better than what is going on in this bathroom. I mean for the size of it, it works great. It doesn't have to be a wet bathroom because it's going to be enclosed by glass for the shower. So we should have a dry bathroom. At least that's what the concept is. We'll see how wet or dry it becomes. And we have our other nightstand put in we're doing we're cruising right along and this is getting fixed 
touch-ups. So, we got the cats in here. We brought them over from the apartment. And we try to make them as comfortable as possible. Our little Siamese cat is a little hider. She's found herself a nice little spot back there in the corner with a box. She likes these empty boxes. It's her little hidey spot back there. She'll come out when she's ready, but I know. It gives them time. And Moon, well, he's made himself pretty comfortable around here. He did a lap around and got lazy and perched himself up so he can see all the birds outside. And that's about it for the animals. And the ranger, well, ranger's always over here, so he's already made himself at home. And we got a cool little water fountain. And it has a night light, so we actually planned with the night light to be the night light downstairs for our bathroom because it's really bright. Uh, you can't tell right now, but it is pretty bright. And our stairs are almost done. He is putting the third coat and he will have them done. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what they look like, but I don't think we're gonna see them yet. Not until all of this gets grounded down. All right, and we are getting our little stand for the sink. I actually thought we were going to have a little bit of uh, play here, but uh, in between the two, but it looks like we are buttoning it up against the wall. Even though it's still a little floating off the ground. So we got to wait a little bit and then they're trying to get this done. I know they have this door, door to do right here. All right, and here is the doors, I think, for the bathroom. And we're getting the rest of our tiles put in. And we're bringing it all the way down to the little hump on the curb, our tiles. So I would suspect he'll be done with that little section. Been busy taking care of other stuff, but here is the cabinet doors. Look at that, and the finish on it. And so when you take this off, it's gonna be a glossy white with the silver around it so it actually is a compliment sorry so it's going to be glossy white and have the silver around it which complements everything all of our appliances that we have uh everything's covered up so you really can't tell but everything is pretty much all gonna have the the, the metal stainless steel look our refrigerator our stove we have our faucet we have our microwave so I went looking today to find out I'm gonna do some special Edison light bulbs in this so when looking for them today I found them but I haven't bought them but uh, we we're trying to decide on the size there's four different sizes for the Edison's they look pretty neat and we figure it'll, it'll go good with the kitchen give it a little bling bling a little difference because everything is white that like i guess you could say or uh, metal looking even our countertops have the bling bling in it
Everybody. Hope you all enjoyed our video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. And hit that bell button down there in the corner to get notified the next time we put out a video. Thank you and goodbye.